Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. And we're watching a couple of areas in the tropics. First one is this tropical wave that moved over the state. It's brought a lot of this deep tropical moisture, those scattered showers and thunderstorms that we've had. And uh, it's shown a little bit more organization as it's moved into the Gulf of Mexico. It's been classified as Invest 91. And there is that possibility as it continues to slowly work its way across the Gulf of Mexico, it may gain a little bit more organization, and this could become a tropical depression in the next, say, 24 hours. Now, hurricane reconnaissance planes on standby, they, they may go out and fly around and take a better look at this system later on in the day. We'll continue to watch to see if they do that, but right now putting about a 40 to 50% chance of some additional development with this system. Another area that we're watching, this was at Invest 99. We talked about this yesterday. And uh, this quickly became tropical depression number seven at five o'clock yesterday and is now tropical storm Gonzalo. Now, this is a very small system, very compact. And, and at times, especially if you watch this loop very closely in the beginning part, almost maybe a hint of seeing maybe the formation of an eye. Right now, winds are at 50 miles an hour. So it does continue to increase in strength. It's moving to the west at 14 miles an hour. And it's going to continue on that westerly track as we go through the next couple of days. You see it becoming a hurricane, it looks like, by tomorrow. But then notice, as it moves into the Caribbean, you're seeing a bit of a weakening trend with this system. That's what we have to watch for very closely as we go through the next several days. We talk about this all the time with tropical systems that track that tends to be the easier part. We've got very good uh, consensus among all the various computer models that it'll basically continue on a track like this. And that makes sense. You gotta have a big ridge to the north. But what we're also looking at is a lot of dry air sitting to the north of this system. So as this continues to work its way to the north or, or to the west as we go through the next several days, you see that dry air just spills right into the Caribbean. So it will be interacting with that. This being a small system, if it can somehow hold off that dry air, well, it might have a chance that it can hold itself together, maybe even continue to strengthen. But if that dry air gets into the side, inside of a, a smaller tropical system, it can overwhelm it very, very quickly. So that's the thinking right now that this will probably tend to weaken somewhat as it gets into this drier air in the Caribbean as we move into the weekend. But at this point, we're just gonna wait and see because it's kind of defied the model so far with that strengthening trend that we've seen over the past 24 hours. So we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.